Hi guys, and uh, first of all, um, I want to wish everybody uh, a happy 2022. Um, I know this is kind of like the, the usual message everybody gives and blah, 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 but um, genuinely I, I hope that uh, this, this new year will be, um, well, will be one that brings us the, uh, the uh, realization of whatever dreams that we have, whatever objectives that we want to obtain, whatever goals that we have that are going to be reached and that, uh, you know, uh, we all start being more, uh, more coherent, more uh, sensible um, and um, kind of don't let ourselves be taken by, um, by, uh, by idle chatter or by idle talk. Anyway, that out of the way. Um, I want to start the year with something which I've already been planning around for a couple of weeks, which is a series of videos which will be a tutorials, okay? Be very simple videos and, and will be things showing how to modify your earphones and perhaps then further on a few other um, audio related gear mods. But for now, it's just very simple things on how, on how to modify your earphones because I genuinely think that there are a couple of, well, not a couple, but there's a lot of stuff out there which can be made pretty spectacular. Um, so there will be these little, little, little tutorials, let's put it that way, on how to modify them. I will try as much as possible to be very self-explanatory and show you, you know, in real life what to do. Um, and the first one to start right off the bat is the um, HD Sound Heart Mirror. This is a personal favorite of mine. This is a brand new one. I'm going to be opening up a brand new one in front of everybody. Um, this is one of my personal favorite earphones. I bought or I got uh, hooked on the HD Sound Heart Mirror right in the beginning when it first was launched, so more than a year ago. Nobody hardly even talked about it. Nobody, you know. And me being the kind of person that I'm always looking for that elusive perfect I am or that elusive, that elusive uh, gem. Uh, and at, you know, at whatever price point, well, within certain limits, of course. Um, when I saw the the heart mirror, and I bought my first heart mirror for thirty five dollars, um, I said, "Wow, this looks pretty interesting. It's got you know good specs, and, uh, seems to be having a, a decent enough driver." And I bought it. I bought it, and it was, and it is undeniably one of the most amazing earphones that you can get, at my in my opinion, at any price point. Obviously. That's that's a bold statement and, and one that can be subject to differing op differing opinions and so on and so forth. But I genuinely feel that this this um, this earphone uh, deserves equal hype. Uh, I would say uh, as the Blano Three also got uh, the Blano Three for certain specific reasons. Um, and this one, in my in my opinion, in my modest opinion, for being an absolute detail monster. Uh, if you're a kind of person that likes your, you know, your 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 upper mids and your and your highs and everything, this thing is is a beast. Uh, I've owned several pairs. Well, I own several pairs, um, and uh, one thing I must say about the the HG Sound is that they maintain pretty decent, um, you know, quality control throughout. Um, well, throughout all of the ones that I have, and I've and believe me when I say I've got a few, uh, and I've bought them at different times only one uh, graft slightly different to the others but even that one that's graft slightly different was in perfect um, in perfect um, balance left and right channel so it's an earphone that's a pretty safe bet you know it's not really plagued with money with many uh, quality control problems or anything of the sort and um, I'm not getting get into the details of how it sounds in, in, you know but basically it, it, it's it's a it's a super super detailed um, uh, earphone obviously again take into consideration the price point but having said that it can take down much more expensive earphones than what than what its price uh, would lead us to believe anyway let me just well first of all i'll actually show you two here that i have this one is uh, my actually this is my very first set okay um, and this is being modified with the mod that I'm going to show you now. If you can see there, the let me just zoom this in a little bit. So this has been modified with the with the filter there, with the vent filter. Let's see if I can 
show it to you. There you go. See, I think you can can get a can grasp. There we go. Okay, it's got that little vent filter. Okay, um, and as I was saying, uh, this is my first one. It's been modified with the Y4 filter, which I'll show to you in a second. And uh, this is a standard one. Okay, absolutely bog standard. Nothing done to it, as you can see. There we go. The two, the two vents. If you look carefully, one there, one there. Okay, and it's that one next to the R, in this case the right that we want to that we're going to, to mess around with, all right? So it's it's a it's it's got a it's a neutralish sounding uh in, in you know in, in the bass and then the mids and the highs are, are, are bright, but it's 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 a it's a very pleasurable and very well done bright. It's it's not aggressive in any way, at least none of the sets that I have. It's not aggressive, it's not um you know, it's not overly bright, it's not harsh or anything, and it's just got this wonderful open sound, super detailed, and, you know, for those of us that like vocals, female vocals, and so on and so forth, it's an absolute gem. Um, off we go. So, I'm going to open this up here. There we go. Take this out of the way here. Yeah. Packaging of, of the HD sound is actually another thing that surprised me very much. Well, the whole accessory that comes with it. There we go. Beautifully done. Brings a pretty nice standard cable. Over here, I'll just quickly show you. The case and the carrying case brings a whole bunch of tips, you know. But there's no, no lack of that. And then the earphones themselves. Let me just get them out. There we go. Get the other one out. Go and I'm just gonna disconnect the cable from them because we don't need to see the cable. We don't need the cable for what I'm gonna do. All right, that's one piece, and that's the other piece out. Okay, so in terms of the the earphones themselves, they they very well built uh, metal shell, two pin connector, very nice fit. I mean, with at least with me, uh, not an issue. It's a bit of a of a of a fingerprint magnet, but overall the quality and, and the feel of it is uh, you know way above what you would expect at this price point. It's kind of what Blonde did. It's got a relatively big nozzle. Um, it brings some filters as well to substitute this uh, nozzle uh, filter. Yeah, if it gets then full of wax and so on and so forth. But anyway, there we go. You see the R there. That that. Let me just get that. Okay, so that's the vent there that we want to modify, that one there, okay? How do we modify this vent, or why do we want to modify this vent? As I mentioned before, the, the heart mirror's flaw, or, or not, not strong point, is perhaps a lack of base quantity somehow, and that lack of base quantity can sometimes uh, render the male vocals a little bit light, and, and render some genres a little bit, uh, you know, light-hearted and so on. So it's an easy, easy thing to do. It's an easy thing to resolve. You get these uh, these uh, filters, which are tuning filters, and basically they will change the bass output and, and to a certain extent as well the bass quality. The bass quality is pretty good. You have them in, in, in various um, uh, gradings or Y4. Um, let me just get these out. Y4, you have Y3. Uh, there's some more Y4s there. Actually, I just bought this package, which is the Y4s and the Y3s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you get basically from one Y1 to Y6. Y1 will affect the, 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 the bass and the signature of the bass the least, and then Y6 will affect it the most. I've played extensively with, with them, and the one that, for me at least, uh, makes the sound the most pleasurable is the, the Y4. Um, However, on this one, and just because I actually want to try the Y3 again and then do some measurements, I'm going to be uh, putting some Y3 filters on, on this particular set of, uh, of HD sounds. So, get them out. Okay. Very easy. Open up the packet here so you guys can see. All right. And there we go. 
as you can see this is let me just zoom this in slightly okay so you can see these things well they, they will basically what they'll do is they'll control the amount of air which escapes through that vent and by controlling that amount of air uh, the, the pressure differential that exists is, is altered and you can um, uh, change the base in terms of quantity and, and, and like I said to a certain extent there's also, also its signature uh, you don't want to overdo it unless you want to have a boomy earphone um, and then if you are well the reason to be doing it is because you want a little bit more bass so you just want to try and choose the the, the let's say the the balanced filter um, I've got all of them like I said and, and I've played extensively so in the, in the case of the HD sound hard mirror my recs are either a Y3 or a Y4 okay how do you do this very simple so you get the filter out okay you see it there okay I've just got to get it out Pieces, get it out there and come on very gently you don't want to damage it and it's, you'll, you'll get the feel of it it's extremely fragile okay got it get the earphone all right I'm gonna glue it over the vent Let me just have a quick look here if I'm doing it properly. I apologize. I apologize. There we go. Okay. That's it. Try and zoom in a little bit more so you guys can actually have a better look. There we go. See? Nicely glued in. Okay. Just gonna just put it down a little bit more so it's really glued in down properly. Apologies for moving away, but it's just that in front of the camera, it's not easy to just make sure. But there we go. So it's all done. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's done. It's modified. Okay. And the base signature changes completely. Now, what are the changes that can be expected? Let me just get my other phone here and show you some graphs so you guys can have an actual idea of what we're talking about here in terms of what changes. Um, occur okay so this is usually the signature of the HD sound um, heart mirror as you can see relatively neutral in the base uh, however having said that the base that is there is of very nice quality it's got nice texture it's got good speed so it's not a bad quality base no it's just perhaps lacking in quantity uh, when compared to the rest of the spectrum above 1k which makes it sound uh, well open bright um, I mean it, like I said it's, it's a very nice sounding um, uh, earphone and particularly what makes it also very special is the past 10k energy um, and as you can see from 2k to, to about 10k it's almost rule, you know it's very flat it's not, I'm not going to say ruler flat but very flat and there's no peaks and dips and so on and so forth that peak that you, do see, that you do see there around 8k is a couple of related one but it stays relatively flat and this renders the sound a, a very unique um, quality so this is what it is and what well standard this is what it becomes when you modify it so uh, if you notice here quickly is if the mids were flat they become even flatter so that maintains it's that that improves even uh, there's a peak there at around maybe 11k which is not as prominent in the standard one okay there's a little peak there as you can see and the coupler related peak as well kind of comes down slightly so if you see how the coupler related peak is higher when you modify it, it comes down so overall i think you know the over 1k area becomes more balanced out and where you can definitely see there's a big improvement is in the bass i mean from 200 hertz down you definitely see it picks up nicely and it picks up uh, in the region of uh, uh, we're talking about here so 92 we're 85 so about 7 dbs okay um with this is with the y4 filter and using the cp145 uh, spin fits um, 
to make the measurements. I use them both in the standard and in the modified one. So standard and modified. The difference in the sound is day and night. A tremendous difference. Um, to the point where I think that a modified heart, uh, HD sound heart mirror is as good uh, and better even in certain instances than an ARIA, which is a reference in terms of a single DD. Um, it, it's, in my opinion, also better than um, uh, the recently released Ten High Fi T3 Plus. It is just, it, it's, it, it really changes this IEM, and it's a pity that I mean, maybe not so many people have given it a chance to really show what it can do. Uh, I've got a graph here, well, I've got with two, with two um, gradings, okay? This is the standard versus the modified, so you can definitely see how things have changed. Um, and over here, the scaling is a 10 dB scale. Okay, and over here it's uh, every five dBs. Okay, uh, so you can notice there's a well, it looks like it's more V-shaped or more prominent, but the reality is when you listen to it, it yes, you can see there's bass there, but it's not as as a as overwhelming or as overpowering as the graph might uh, might uh, show. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it's a, it's a simple mod, like I said. There's absolutely no secrets to it. It's it's. Dirt, dirt easy to do and uh, well worth it. All right, so this is number one. I'll be doing a few more, like I said, uh, on, on, on the more popular uh, IEMs. And the, the good thing about this mod, at least, is it's easily reversible. If you don't like it, you just take out the filter and just leave it as it is. Uh, like I said, I've, I've done this with the Y3. Um, I'll be graphing it as well and then, and then sharing the graph with you guys. Uh, this will this will probably uh, give the boost in the base of around maybe four or five dBs as opposed to seven, so a little bit less. But I'm actually curious in, in seeing how it does uh, and, and comparing it with uh, the other ones that I have modified in the standard one. All right, thank you guys. Take care. Bye bye.